And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you by the hand and we're going to go flying. We're going to fly and we're going to drift and float through space and time. And we're going to find the appropriate place where your subconscious wants you to find something that's going to help you in this life. It's going to teach you anything that it can about a lesson for this life. So as we take off and we fly and we drift and we float, we're going to... Why don't you describe what you're seeing as we're flying? Clouds. Um, I'm just seeing the sky as I'm looking up. Are we still ascending or are we descending? Um, I feel like I'm still on the ground, actually. I'm just... Okay, here's what we're going to do. One of those clouds, one of those clouds are going to come over to us and it's just going to descend down to us on the ground. Let me know when the cloud has gotten to us. All right, it's coming down now. All right. Let me know when it gets down there. All right, it came down. All right. I'm going to help you on that cloud. And you're going to go for a ride on the cloud. Let me know when I seat you in the cloud. All right, we're seated. All right. So now the cloud's going to take off and it's going to take us where we need to go. And we're going to drift and float, drift and float. Can you tell me how, how does it feel sitting in that cloud? What's it feel like? What do you sense? Um, kind of like being on a roller coaster, just drifting. Okay. Yeah. Is it soft? Does it feel soft? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to drift and we're going to float, drift and float. The cloud's going to take us to the appropriate place. As we're drifting and floating, let me know when the cloud sets us down. Okay, it's going to take us someplace. We'll just wait for it. In fact, we're going to speed it up. We're going to move that cloud. And in five seconds, we're going to be where our destination is. So on a count of five, we'll be there. One, two, three, four, five. We should be there now. Are we there now? Yeah. All right. And the cloud is setting us down. All right, go ahead and get off the cloud. And uh, I'm going to remain on the cloud. I'm going to get back on the cloud here. And I'm going to drift and float away. And what I would like you to do is to look at your feet and tell me, are you wearing shoes? No, I'm barefoot. Okay. And can you look at your hands and tell me yes. what do they look like? Uh, they look like hands. They look like what? They look like my normal hands. Okay. And can you see what you're wearing? What kind of clothes are you wearing? Okay. 
Does it look like a like a military uniform or just a regular just regular shirt? Okay. Can you look back down at your feet and see if you have shoes on now since your clothes changed? I'm still barefoot. Okay. Let's take a look around and see what's going on there where you're at. Take a look around, see what you see, and describe it. I came down, um, I saw a mountain ridge. Do you see a body of water? Uh, do you see any uh, buildings? Do you see any people? I don't see any people. I think there's a lake on the other side of the bridge, though. Okay. Now, you'll be able to sense in this life what they call you. What is your name? What do they call you? It's the first name that pops into your mind. Patrick. That's my regular name. Okay. Well, let's take a look around, Patrick, and see uh, see what you see. There's uh, there's something there, a reason that we're brought to this place. Can you sense where you are located? Where is this place? Okay. It's a log cabin. All right. Does that feel like home? Not home, but it feels familiar. Okay. Let's go to the cabin and see what's in there. And in three seconds, you'll be at the cabin. One, two, three. Be there now. You're at the cabin. Can you describe it? Okay. What's the dog's name? It'll come to your mind. What is it? I'm not sure. But the name Earl is coming to me for some reason. Okay. I don't know if it's the dog. I, I believe it's the owner, though. The un He's an older gentleman with overalls. Okay, so you see Earl? Yes. Okay. Let's connect with Earl and see why uh, what his relationship is to you just you can do this telepathically and it will just come to your mind and just ask earl where am i i don't know it's he's not talking to me okay Let's go inside the cabin and describe what you see inside. Let's see if there's any more people there. He has food prepared. There's a wood burning fireplace. I feel like I'm coming back from work or something. Something I did for him. Okay. Let's uh let's see if he gets any more talkative and see ask Earl what uh how he liked the job that you did for him and see what he has to say. He asked me if I got the firewood we needed. Okay. Let's let's tell him yet yeah, you did. Now what's he say? Yes. Yeah, I think he wants to eat. Okay. 
Well, let's have him go to dinner. Let's go to dinner with him. Let's have a seat at the table where the food is prepared and see what the discussion is. And while you're doing that, I want you to know what year is it. Tell me what year it is. It'll come to your mind. Okay. And are you still wearing the same clothes or have they changed? Same clothes. They're reddish brown, kind of cotton material, pants. What's for um, what's for dinner? Venison. Okay. Let's see what the discussion is at the dinner table and just report it back. Just observe it and tell me what is the discussion. I wanted to know how much wood I was able to cut down today. seen any possible animal trails that maybe we could follow and hunt for food. Uh-huh. And what did you tell them? I didn't find any animals. I was able to get some wood, though. All he right. says we're going to need it for winter. Okay. Is it cold outside? No snow or anything. Okay. Grass is green. All right. Well, let's close that scene like a book and go to the next significant scene in that life and let's see what's happening there. Go there now. What is happening? Things like fading now. All right. I'm just going to snap my fingers. You're going to go a little deeper. As I snap my fingers, you're going deeper and deeper. And we're going to the next scene of significance in that lifetime. And be there now and tell me what is happening. I'm on the porch now and it's raining. Tell me more. Um, all the scenery is like breaking up around me. Okay. Is Earl there? No. Is the dog there? Do you sense anybody there? No. No, I'm alone on the porch and it's raining. Okay. And how do you feel? What do you feel like? I'm sensing danger nearby. Mm. Okay. And is it danger from the weather or danger from somebody's coming? Are they Indian? I think so. Okay. I think that's... I'm sensing... 
they want something from us. Okay, let's let's just fast forward the scene just a little bit, and we're gonna see when they arrive what do they want. Be there now. They want to trade, and you feel it's dangerous, or no? I don't trust them. Okay. Let's see what they want to trade for. They want to trade us arrowheads and bows. For wood. Okay. They want the skins for my deers. Fair trading with them. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Do you make the trade or no? We don't have enough skins for them. And what happens from there? All right, we're going to just go a little deeper, a little deeper, relaxing, able to picture this scene very clear. It's coming back. Tell me what's happening. Okay, we're going to close this scene and go to the next significant scene. And do you sense your name is still Patrick? I'm not sure. Right? Things, uh, they break up, they come to me, and then they kind of break up again. Okay. I want you Sometimes I'm Sometimes I'm on the porch. Okay. Do you, when you're looking down, are you out of body? Yeah. Okay. Let's look at the scene out of body and see what happens. Just let the ideal go that you need to be in that body. We just want to observe what is happening. Tell me what's happening on the porch with the trade with the Indians. Just observe it. Okay. All right. Now I want you to close this scene. Just close it like a book. Let's go to the next significant scene and see what we see. Just relax and close it. And tell me when you're there. Okay, Patrick, let's do this. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you, uh, can I speak? My mind's, going, my mind's going too like, fast. I, I just can't concentrate on one thing. Okay, that's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question, and you can respond to it, what comes to your mind. May I speak to your higher self, please? Sure. Okay. Higher self, may I speak to you, please? Yes. Uh, could you tell me what the significance of the scene that you were showing, Patrick, with the, uh, the Indian trade and why you took him to that lifetime? We were trying to make 
And what what ended up happening in that lifetime? I'm not sure. Okay. Am I still speaking to higher self? I think so. Okay. Um, can you answer this question for me, please? Um, Patrick has been drawn to learn more about the reptilians than most people. Are you guiding him on this journey in this lifetime for that? Well, who is guiding him? I'm not sure. Are you able to do a body scan on Patrick? No. Why is that? Can we show him another lifetime? Sure. All right. That's what we'll do. And I'll check back in with you in a little while. So we're going to just go to the next lifetime and show something of significance to Patrick that he can use to heal in this life. And let's be there now. Tell me where we're at. What do you see? Every, everything is black. Everything's black. Let's. I'm going to light that up for you, Patrick. <laughs> I'm just going to turn the light up, and we're going to see what we need to see. Here comes some light and we're lighting it up. And what do you see? I still can't see anything. Nothing, huh? Okay. What do you sense in the dark? Okay, let's just stay in that state of peace and relax, and let's see what happens next. You tell me when something is happening. Can I speak to your higher self again, please? Sure. Okay. Higher self? Yes. Um, he's not saying anything. Is there something you can do to, to assist with this, please? Why not? There's nothing for him to see. 
Is this his only lifetime on Earth? No. Do you not want to share with him uh, any healing modality of a lifetime? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Is there something verbally you would like to say to Patrick? Do you have something against Archangel Michael? No. Do you know who I am? No. Hmm. Do you need some light? No. Is there anything I can help you with? No. I don't believe I've ever had the... Uh, this kind of interaction with a higher self. Is there something you're hiding? No. Why are you so un uncooperative? I can't remember anything. Do you want to remember? Do you want to remember? Just say. And why are you sad? Nobody's around. Would you like somebody to come around? I'm alone. Where are you located? Are you in space? Floating. You're floating? Where are you floating at? Darkness. And I imagine you don't like that darkness, do you? Would you mind if I shine some light on that darkness? No. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we're going to brighten it up a little bit and where you're floating, okay? Okay. All right, here comes the light. And I'm sending it directly to you. And that spark of light that you have inside of you is expanding more and more and you're lighting up and how does that feel i can't see the light everyone has that light inside look inside your being and find that little spark that little spark of light Do you see it? No. Are you looking for it? Yes. Okay. I'm sending you the light to expand that little light that you have and it's gonna grow and grow more and more. 
Are you accepting my light? Trying to. Okay. I'm going to call Archangel Michael to help me expand your light. Archangel Michael, please come and help expand the sad person's light. Do you see Archangel Michael now? Well, Archangel Michael is omnipresent, and he sees you. I need you to open your eye and see Archangel Michael now. In the count of three, he will appear right before you. One, two, three. Be there now. Can you see? I'm going to call all of the angels, all of the archangels in to surround this being with light. I can't just stop thinking about things, normal, everyday things. Okay. Let's take you deeper. Go deeper. Just Try to relax. Quiet your mind. Just don't think. Don't. I can't relax. No? All right. I'll just bring you out of it. On the count of five, you're going to be alert and refreshed and feeling very well. One, two, three. Your eyes are opening. Four, five. Come on out. All right. All right.